Mastering Data Structures and Algorithms, a Beginner's Guide for Coders. Welcome to this short tutorial where we'll break down the essentials of data structures and algorithms for coding beginners. If you're preparing for an interview and feeling daunted by these topics, don't worry. I'm here to simplify them for you. By the end of this video, you'll have a strong grasp of key concepts like data types, time complexity, flowcharts, and algorithms. Let's get started. Before diving into the core content, let's address why data structures and algorithms are so crucial. These are the tools every programmer relies on to solve problems efficiently. In coding interviews, companies assess not just whether you can solve a problem, but how well you can structure and optimize your solution. Having a solid knowledge of these topics gives you confidence and sets you apart. To build a program, you first need to understand data types, the foundation of your code. Every piece of data in a program fits a specific category. What are data types? Data types are classifications of the kind of data being stored and manipulated in a program. They ensure efficiency, organization, and accuracy in how you handle information. Common data types overview. Integers, whole numbers like one, two, minus 10. Float or double. Decimal numbers like 3.14 or 0 0.5. Strings, text, or characters within quotation marks, for example, hello. Boolean, true, false values to represent logical decisions. Others, some specialized data types include arrays, lists, and dictionaries. Practical application. Imagine you're building a calculator. Integers and floats are used for computation, while Booleans can manage decision-making like, should we continue calculating? Each one has a precise role. Data structures are critical for organizing and storing your data effectively. In coding interviews, you'll often encounter problems that test your ability to manage data using these structures. Let's explore the most common ones. What is a data structure? Simply put, a data structure is a collection of data organized in a way that allows you to perform actions like searching, inserting, or deleting efficiently. Common data structures. Arrays, a list of items stored in contiguous memory. Example, two, five, eight, 10. Let's say this array stores the prices of items in a store. Strength, fast access to elements using index. Weakness, fixed size in certain languages, for example, C++. Linked lists, a chain of nodes where each node contains data and a pointer to the next node. Example, a series of train cars connected together. Strength, dynamic size. Elements can be inserted, removed more flexibly than an array. Weakness, accessing a random node is slower. Stacks, works on the principle of last in, first out, LIFO. Example, a stack of books you add to the top and remove from the top. Application, undo functionality in text editors. Coo. Based on first in, first out, FIFO. Example, a queue at a ticket booth, first person in line gets served first. Application, background job execution in programming. Knowing which data structure suits the problem is key to solving it efficiently. When companies test your coding prowess, they don't just care if your code runs, they care how well it runs. That's where time complexity comes in. What is time complexity? Time complexity measures how the runtime of an algorithm changes as the size of the input grows. It's represented using big O notation, for example, O1, ON, O log N. Common time complexities. O, one, constant time. Operation speed doesn't change with input size. Example, fetching the first item in an array. O, N, linear time. Time grows proportionally with input size. Example, searching through a list element by element. O, log N, logarithmic time. Time grows more slowly as the input size gets larger. Example, 
binary search ORN2, quadratic time. Time grows radically as input size increases. Example, comparing every element of two lists to find matches. Why does it matter? Let's imagine you're shopping online. Sorting all items by price with ON2 might take hours, but O log N would process it in seconds. For coding interviews, efficiency is key. Understanding how things work step by step is essential, especially when explaining algorithms in interviews. Flowcharts are invaluable tools for visualizing and simplifying algorithms. What is a flowchart? A flowchart is a diagram representing a process using different symbols, circles, start, end, rectangles, process, and diamonds, decisions. Flowchart example, finding the largest number in an array. Suppose you have 37295 and want to find the largest number. Start. 2. Initialize max to the first number, 3. 3. Compare max with the next number. If larger, replace max. Four, repeat for the rest of the numbers. Five, end, result is nine. Using flowcharts in practice not only clarifies thought processes, but also shows interviewers your systematic approach. An algorithm is a logically ordered set of instructions used to solve a problem. Let's discuss two essential types, sorting and searching algorithms. Sorting algorithms Bubble sort compares adjacent items and swaps them if they are in the wrong order. Example, sorting 5381 step by step until you get 1358. Quick sort divides the list using a pivot, sorts smaller and larger parts, and combines them much faster for large data sets compared to bubble sort. Searching algorithms. Linear search scans each item one by one works for unsorted data, but isn't efficient for large data. Binary search, for sorted lists only, splits the list repeatedly to find the target. Time complexity, O log N, very fast. These simple algorithms lay the foundation for problem solving in coding interviews. Practice regularly. Websites like LeetCode, HackerRank, or CodeForces offer excellent practice problems Start small and gradually tackle more complex challenges. Understand, don't memorize. Coding interviews reward clear thinking, not rote memorization. Focus on understanding how algorithms and data structures operate conceptually. Experiment and iterate. Revisit problems you've solved to optimize your solutions. Many algorithm improvements come from asking, can this be done faster? Group, study, or discussion. Explaining concepts to someone else is one of the best ways to learn. We've covered the essentials, understanding data types, using data structures, analyzing algorithms with time complexity, visualizing problems with flowcharts, and applying key algorithm types. As a coding beginner, mastering these tools can make your coding interviews far less intimidating. Remember, consistent practice is the key to success. With these foundations, you're better equipped to handle technical questions confidently, keep learning, improve step-by-step, -step, and you'll be ready for interview day. Good luck and...